This is my initial match reaction to the Sheffield United versus Tottenham Hotspur game. And uh, I've just got to say, I'm absolutely devastated. I thought, you know, we played so well for, for large portions of that game. Um, and, you know, this is what we get for it. We get zero points because of, you know, two defensive mistakes almost. I mean, it just, it does feel awful. I mean, for the first, say, 90 minutes, I thought we looked so good. And then out of nowhere, we get 12 minutes at a time. I actually ended up playing 15 minutes additional time. And I think it's just ludicrous. I mean, this whole, um, this rule around increasing the, uh, the, the amount of added time added at the end of the games, I think it's, it's a rule to favour the big clubs. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say how it is. Because at the end of the day, the FA, the Premier League, whoever it is, they want to keep the big clubs to be the big clubs. That's all they want. Because it's guaranteed revenue, whatever, whatever. Right, 12 minutes at a time, who's that going to benefit? Sheffield United, the, the team with a, with a small squad where all their quality is on the pitch. Or the team like Tottenham Hotspur, who, who can go and make in a billion pound stadium and have a squad which is probably worth 600 million pounds, spending all this money. You know, they make, they make like what, four subs. And the, the value of the subs is probably about 200 million pounds, way more than what we spent, you know, on our entire entire squad they're making a few subs so it's a whole idea that you know we're going to add 12 minutes at a time to stop time wasting it's not going to stop time wasting if you want to stop time wasting make it so you can't time waste make it so it's against the rules make it so you give yellow cards out for time wasting you don't say we're going to chuck on a bunch of extra time at the end because that's only going to benefit big teams because now for Sheffield United right what do you do to beat Spurs if you're not allowed to do things that time waste there's, there's no way you can beat them so at the end of the day this is just the Premier League wanting to keep the status quo and not let small teams have a chance in these games. I'm sorry, that that is how I'm seeing this. I mean, you can even argue that they put it in to stop Newcastle time wasting because they see, you know, Newcastle trying to break into the big six. Oh no, no, their main tactic, or not main tactic, but one of their, their main tools in their toolbox of time wasting. Oh no, can't do that anymore. I think it's total lunacy. On 15 minutes at a time. We played what, 100 and 111 minutes. It's meant to be a 90 minute game of football. This is, you know, we see player injuries happening all the time nowadays because how much football we're playing and all of a sudden we're going to add 20 minutes onto games at the end of the games because Spurs aren't winning. It's just, it's embarrassing. This reminds me of what happened last year with, with Newcastle versus Liverpool at, uh, at Anfield when Newcastle, similarly, you know, they're, they're defensively really good and they hit on the break. They go 1-0 up and then all of a sudden, no, no, we can't, we can't allow that, can't allow that. Just give them, you know, 10 minutes at a time, but they can just play till they've won the game. No, 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 lads, honestly, no, you just go and play. We'll give you as much at a time as you possibly want until you win the game. Because that, that's what we should do. Because this, is, this isn't a real sport. This is just sports entertainment, you know. We don't have to be fair. We can just rig it for the big teams. It's, it's a lunacy, total lunacy, right? And whoever's in charge of the FA needs to have a real look at themselves. Because whoever, whoever's deciding these things, you're killing football. That's that's what this is all it is. That's what I'm seeing this as. That being said, you can argue that the referee was really lenient to us today. I mean, you look at Chris Basham. He's showing his age like nothing else. I mean, obviously, uh, I'm, a, I'm a massive fan of Basham. What he's done for us, you know, the past, what, four or five years he's been here. But he's he shouldn't be starting against Tottenham Hotspur. I mean, he looked good in periods, but he's the one who gives away the corner, which you know, leads to that first Richarlison goal. I think defensively, I, I was nervous whenever whenever he was the one we had to rely on. And especially when we almost gave away a penalty for James Madison, where, you know, Basham just goes to the back of him. Now, initially, I think, you know, didn't touch him, ref, like, can we just move on? You watch it again on that, on one of the angles they show. It's a clear penalty. We were, we were very lucky. And then even that like Wes, Wes probably should have got sent off for what he did, where he, where he handles the ball outside outside the area. Right, he did that last year against Burnley, got a straight red, so he was very lucky not to get sent off there. And then, again, you know, time-wasting, time-wasting, time-wasting. He was doing a lot of time-wasting. He was even taking it a bit far. Look, I love a bit of time-wasting. I love a bit of the dark arts. I'm all for it. But he was ta he was being a bit mental with it, and I was surprised he wasn't sent off. He didn't get a second yellow for time-wasting. And speaking of players who got second yellows, you've got to talk about Ollie McBurney at this point. The issue I have with this is that that's never a red card. He shouted at the referee. It's a passionate game. Do you know what I mean? Just referees, that their job's worth. It's, it's pathetic. It's a passionate game. Let people be passionate and have opinions on things. Honestly, it's, it's mental. Absolutely mental. And I'm, I'm fed up of, in this country, how protective people are towards like referees and stuff. It's just madness. And I'm, I'm getting fed up of, of football and how favouritism is, is killing the game. How 
everyone only talks about the big six and they care about the big six. I think it's ludic ludicrous. I hope Spurs lose every single one of the other games. I hate every single one of their players. Son's a little crybaby. Madison was terrible, uh, I thought. He was he was keep doing these old nice little outside of the boot passes. He he had about five chances to take a shot. He just kept passing at our play. I thought he was I thought he was so average this game. And everyone's singing Ange Postacoglu's phrase. Oh, I can't I can't stand it. Like well done the manager who's been given tons of money. He's done well. Okay, well done. I don't know. <sighs> but but just to, just to wrap up my opinions, this is such a disappointing result for us. I actually thought we were going to do it and then all of a sudden you get 12 minutes at a time and there's just nothing you can do. And you can say, you know, we should know that these are the rules around time wasting. Even then, we didn't time waste for 12 minutes. 12 minutes! So stupid. Five minutes, okay, I'm fine with five minutes. Fine with six minutes. 12. Jog on, mate. That's so, so dumb, honestly. I'm starting to hate this sport. All right, I'm moving to rugby league. I'm now a, uh, I'm a Wakefield fan, even though I just got relegated. That's a, that's a bad example. I'm now, I'm now a St. Helens fan. Uh, I love St. Helens. I always have. Come on, Saints. Come on, Saints. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm fed up. I'm fed up. And now we're in real bother for Newcastle now because we haven't got McBurney. So God knows how we're going to play. I mean, well, I don't. I think Azula's out injured as well, isn't he? That's what he said in the press conference. So. Well, I think Jebison's still outside of what we're going to play, just Archer up top. And then, oh, God knows, God knows. Uh, I will have more thoughts on this game when I can sort of process it properly and not just be angry and upset and shout. Um, but yeah, this is all I'm going to say for now. But right now, I'm just, I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching.